McLovin News, getting back at it. Just got back from seeing The Wild Robot. If you guys have already seen it, good for you. It's a lovely, beautiful family movie. Perfect for the kids. Heartbreaking. Spiritually, in a good way. Not like a not like a bad side, but like a... Bring some, you know, humanity to the fact that when we talk about robots, AI, what brings to the humanity of it is the people behind it. Now, into what I'm doing. Dangerous work. I'm about to get into this one. And then finish up these. No, there is no Freon in these compressors. I actually had somebody on my YouTube channel come at me and say, oh, so you're basically releasing Freon into the ozone, into the air. How can I possibly be responsible for releasing Freon when I receive these compressors? Which I can totally shut down lies like that. Totally disrespectful to what I'm doing. Because for the kids and for the earth, I don't sit there as a hypocrite and claim I'm doing something good for the kids, doing good for the earth, by doing economic cleanup and be doing something hypocritical like polluting by letting out Freon. These are empty already. The way I receive these is empty. There's nothing hooked up to these. That's how I receive them. All of these compressors, including the ones under here. These are my last uh, compressors that I have left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm gonna knock out four. By the time I'm done today, there won't be many left. I'm gonna get to work and you guys will see the end results. Stay tuned because I'm not gonna take a recording of every time I'm doing this. This is gonna be the first segment. Uh, I'm gonna continue time after time. So here we go, digging into this, clean and safe for the kids, for the present, for the future. It was without the present today to uphold with people polluting, wasting, people make their own choices what they do with their electronics and their appliances. Leave them out in the garage, even at this late of the year. Still not good for a refrigerator. Sure, it can hold up, but it's not good. The humidity, the temperatures, the cold, not built for a refrigerator. It will kill them. If you have one that's already dying, sure, let it die in the fridge. But don't go throwing it to the dump. You know, properly remove the Freon. And or find a find somebody who's going to do it properly. Uh, there's people who have a specific license for that. I'm wearing my sweat rag in between here so that the... Fuzz gauze under here doesn't get all soaked in sweat because a lot of work goes into this. Um, I'm going to be real safe and real careful. You guys stay tuned because in the end, we're going to have four new cut open compressors. That's about the most I can do in a standing position since I have to work between those two points. I have to sit up on top of that. Behind here, a lot of the times, finagle with the pivot of this. We'll start off like this. We'll turn it, we'll pivot it, and I'll get through this one. Probably going to take me about 13, 14 minutes. And that's why recording and showing you guys with me cutting and working through it isn't really worth it since you've already seen my other two videos. If anybody watched them, if not, oh well. I'm going to be showing everything completed. If I can knock out more than four, I'll try that today, but I'll show my completed work at the end of that. Thanks for watching. McLovin News for the kids. Without the present, there is no future. Going to stay safe. Thank you guys. Wish me the best.